is the text? Mm -hmm. We're seeing his bosom. In his bosom. In what chapter is his bosom? To answer by the men in the first of the talk. Elijah, it is heresy. Have you no more to say? Good madam, let me see your face. <laughs> Have you any commission from your lord to negotiate with my face? You are now out of your text. Bobby will draw the curtain and let you see the picture. Look you, sir. Such a one I was this present. Is it not well done? ourselves we do not owe. What is decree must be, and be this so. Will you stay no longer, and nor will you not that I go with you? By your patience, no. My stars shine darkly over me. Malignancy in my fate might perhaps distemper yours. Therefore, I shall crave of you your leave that I may bear my evils alone. It were a bad recompense for your love to lay any of them on you. Let me yet know of you whether you're bound. No, <laughs> sooth, sir. My determinate voyage is mere extravagancy. I perceive in you so excellent a touch of modesty that I will not extort from you what I am willing to keep in. You must know of me then, Antonio. I am Sebastian, <laughs> which I called Rodrigo. My father was that Sebastian of Mesaline, who I know you have heard of. He left behind him myself and his sister, both born in an hour. If the heavens had been so pleased, would he had so ended? But you, sir, altered that. 
For some hour after you took me from the preach of the sea was my sister drowned. Alas, the day! <laughs> a lady, sir, though it was said she much resembled me, but it was yet by many accounted beautiful. Yet with such esteemable wonder over here, I could not believe that. Yet I will boldly publish her. She bore a mind that envy could but call fair. She is drowned already, sir, with salt water. Though I seem to drown her remembrance again with more. Pardon me, sir, your bad entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good Antonio, forgive me or trouble me. Come, murder me for my love. Let me be your servant. If you will not undo what you have done, that is, kill him whom you have recovered, desire it not. Fare you well at once. My bosom is so full of kindness, and I am yet so near the manners of my mother that upon one occasion more, my knives will tell tales for you. I am bound for Count Orsino's court. <coughs> <laughs> Court, else I would very shortly see thee there, but come what may, I do adore thee so. That danger shall some sport, and I will go. Dives. 
Does our life not consist of the four elements? Fits what they say. But I think it rather consists of eating and drinking. Thou art a scholar. Let us therefore eat and drink. For real, I say, a stoop of wine. Mistress Mary, if you prize my 
lady's favor at anything more than contempt, you would not give means for this uncivil rule. She shall know but by this hand. Go shake your ears. I'll deliver the challenge to him, or I'll deliver thy indignation to him by word of mouth. Sweet Sir Toby, be patient for tonight. Since he is the Countess of Day, thy lady, she is much out of quiet. Poor Monsieur Malvolio, let me alone with him. If I do not gull him into a and make him a common recreation, do not think I have wit enough to lie straight in my bed. I know I can do it. Possess us. Possessors, tell us of some, something of him. Mary, sir, sometimes he is a kind of Puritan. Oh, if I thought that, I'd beat him like a dog! <laughs> what? For being a Puritan? Thy exquisite reason, dear knight? Shh, shh! I have no exquisite reason for it, but I have reason good enough. The devil a Puritan that he is, or anything constantly, but a time pleaser, an affectionate ass, that constantly can utter to fight great force. The best persuader of himself, so crammed as he thinks with excellencies that all that look on him love him. And on this vice in him, for my revenge, I know it will cause. What, what wilt thou do? I will drop his voice and with obscure offices of love, wherein by the color of his beard, the shape of his leg, the manner of his gait, the expression of his eye, forehead, and complexion, he shall find himself most feelingly personated. I can rectify that from lady and niece, and have forgotten matter between harmony and distinction of our hands. Excellent. I smell a device. I have it in my nose, too. He will think by the letters that thou wilt drop that they come from my niece and that she's in love with him. My purpose is indeed a horse of that kind. And your horse now would make him an ass! Ass, I doubt not. Oh, twill be admirable! Sport royal, I warrant you. I know I can school work on him. I will plan to you too, unless the fool make a third, where he shall find the letter. Observe his construction of it. For this night, to bed, and dream on the event. Farewell. Good night, Miss Cecilia. Oh, poor me, she's a good woman. She's a beagle, true bread, and one metador's beer. <laughs> what a that? Oh, let's do it night. Thou hast sent for more money. Nay, if I cannot come by your niece, I am a foul way out. Send for money, knight. Thou hast her not in the end. Call me cut. And if I do not, never trust me. Come, let's go burn some sack. Tis too late to go to bed now. Come, knight, come, knight. Hold thy peace, thou name, thou name. Hold thy peace, thou name. Hold thy peace, thou name. Hold thy peace, thou
for thy pains. Such 
chocolate must be coffee. Tickle me. Tis but fortune. All is fortune. Maria once told me she didn't affect me. I heard herself come thus near that should she fancy it should be one of my complexion. Besides, she uses me with a more exalted respect than anyone else that follows her. What should I think of it? should be thee, Malvolio. I may command for I adore, but silence like a Lucrece knight, with bloodless stroke my heart doth gore. M-O-A-I doth sway my life. Must you know? Excellent woman, say I. M-O-A-I doth sway my life. Nay, but first, let me see, let me see, let me see. How she dressed him? What big mistake, no jerks at him. I may command for I adore, she may command me, I serve her, she is my lady. This is evident in any form of capacity. There is no obstruction in this. In the end, what should that alphabetical position portend? If I could make it resemble something in me. Soft. M-O-A-I. Oh, I make up that. Is that a cold scent? Ah, uh, sour will cry for all this, for his great is the box. M, Malvolio, I might have you my name. But O does. O oh, shall end, I hope. <laughs> or I'll cudgel him and make him cry O. Oh. And then I comes behind. I, you and the I behind me, might some more detraction or feel some fortune before you. M O A O. The simulation is not as the former, and yet to crush this a little, it would bow to me, for every one of these letters are in my name. Soft, here follows prose. If this fall into the 